Our planet is full of mystery, from the barren Arctic Circle to vast open deserts. On even the summit of Mount Everest, human beings have explored and documented some of the harshest environments on this Earth to discover what else lives here on the planet Earth with us. The deep sea is a world of extremes. It's time to dive even deeper and discover a place where life is pushed to its absolute limits. A place where sunlight has not hit the bottom for billions of years now. While modern scientists and researchers are led to some incredible discoveries, humans are still eluded by the deepest and most remote places on the Earth. The Mariana Trench, also called the Marianas Trench, you've probably already heard something about it before, haven't you? You were most likely told that the Mariana Trench is the deepest place on Earth. And while that is true, it's highly likely that that is all most people have learned. Well, make yourself comfortable, because today we're going to dive right into the how and why of this mysterious abyss, along with some of the most interesting and bizarre species that live in these depths thousands of meters below us. In a world of complete darkness, you will not believe what secrets this place beholds, named after the nearby Mariana Islands just east of the Philippines. The infamous Mariana Trench sits like a crescent-shaped dent in the floor of the Pacific. A 2,550 kilometer, about half the width of the United States long, 69 kilometer wide fracture that plummets down into a pure black void. It's an exceedingly challenging task to measure the greatest depth of the Mariana Trench because of the challenge of taking the instrument needed to such a remote place and getting accurate readings from the instrument. The Mariana Trench is known to be one of the deadliest places on the planet because of its depth. At the bottom, it hosts the deepest known location on Earth, the Challenger Deep, 11,033 meters, about 6.86 miles, or 36,201 feet beneath the waves. The trench itself is but one part of a global network of deep scars that cut across the ocean floor features that formed from a process called subduction. In the case of the Mariana Trench, the western edge of the Pacific Plate was thrust beneath the smaller Mariana Plate to the west, creating a deep fracture. Molten material then rose through the volcanoes near the trench, building the nearby Mariana Islands. At its deepest point, the Mariana Trench dips down into a little explored zone of the ocean, the Hadal Zone. Named after the realm Hades, the underworld of Greek mythology, is a suitable title for a place where the conditions are of pure darkness, acidic freezing water, scarce food, and immense pressure create a challenging environment for creatures to survive and for much of history. It was believed to be a dead zone, void of any life at all. An impossible frontier and an empty void of perils that could never be reached by any human. In the 19th century, the story changed. So what exactly have scientists found at the bottom of this deep furrow? The Marianas Depths were first plumbed in 1875, when the crew aboard the HMS Challenger cast a weighted sounding line over the side of the vessel and found that they needed more rope. They had not expected there to be a location so deep, but news of its discovery caught the eye of the ambitious. Knowing it existed simply was not enough, and a few dared to venture to the bottom. In 1968, 85 years after the Challenger Deep was discovered on that pioneering voyage, two men set out to reach the bottom. How bold, you might think. Jack Picard, a Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh sheltered only by a cramped bath escape submersible called the Tree Esther. Their five-hour descent was fraught with challenges. The water pressure near the bottom was nearly 1,000 times greater than the atmospheric pressure at sea level. During the journey, this caused the viewing window to crack, limiting their time spent on the sea floor to only 20 minutes. Even in such a short amount of time, what they saw shocked the scientists. They saw life, pale shrimp, and a flounderfish, along with what they described as a deep brown diatomaceous ooze that covered the sea floor. Picard described this moment with excitement in a book about the voyage. Here was an instant answer that biologists and researchers had asked for decades. Could life exist in the greatest depths of the ocean? Well, it could. When James Cameron followed on board the Deep Sea Challenger in 2012, he led a team of engineers and marine biologists to carry out the major exploration that took place in March 2012. As he descended, he went from sweating heat to freezing temperature and into absolute darkness. He too saw the sprawling microbial mats, bizarre-looking filamentous clumps of microorganisms living off chemicals from altered rocks 10,912 meters, about 6.78 miles, or 35,803 feet, about 10.91 kilometers down in a sunless world. It's these bacteria that support more complex creatures, or without sunlight, 
Larger animals must instead rely on the energy produced by bacteria undergoing chemosynthesis, the deep-sea equivalent to photosynthesis. In 2019, Victor Vescovo, an American explorer, achieved a new record of 35,853 feet, about 10.93 kilometers, which is 10,928 meters, about the cruising altitude of a commercial jet. He used a Triton submarine and was the first person to reach the Challenger Deep more than once. Vescovo was able to collect the first sediment biological samples ever collected, which was particularly important for scientific studies. Apart from encountering puzzling creatures, something else was seen that looked like a plastic bag at the bottom of the ocean. Scientists have tried to explore every nook and cranny of the Mariana Trench and found so many creatures that call the Mariana Trench their home. In 2014, mysterious sounds recorded from the bottom of the Mariana Trench caused an uproar between scientists and social media platforms. The sound was recorded with a robot from Oregon State University. The sound is metallic and sounds like an alien call. These brought so many questions to people's minds. After nearly two years of research, it was suggested that the sound may have come from a mink whale. Scientists and marine biologists in a more recent expedition discovered an unusual jellyfish, which looks something like an alien from another planet. The body of this species, with its long tentacles, glows red and yellow. This bizarre creature was discovered in the little-known area of the Mariana Trench, called the Submarine Peak of the Enigma, at a depth of 3,700 meters, about half the height of Mount Everest. Nevertheless, if they dive even further down, it was noticed that the floor of the trench is home to amphibopods crustaceans that are closely related to shrimp. But at the bottom of the ocean, these amphibopods can grow to gigantic sizes. Usually, they max out at less than 2 centimeters long, but some amphibopods in the Mariana Trench were seen to be over a foot in length. These amphibopods look like some monster out of a sci-fi film. But the weirdness does not stop there. Millions of tons of water filter nearly all the light from the surface world and leave life in the dark. Many species have developed bioluminescence to help them survive. The barrel life fishes, deep sea hatchet fish, and sea devil angler fish all use light to confuse predators and attract prey camouflaging themselves or mimicking fewer threatening organisms. This discovery posed a bit of a mystery. The extreme pressures of the deep sea cause calcium carbonate that makes up the shells of amphipods and many marine animals to dissolve more readily in water, leaving their soft bodies vulnerable. As such, amphipods are not usually found below about 5,000 meters, about 3.11 miles, or 16,400 feet, about 5 kilometers. And yet here in Kayakos Lights was a giant amphipod retaining even its tough exoskeleton. It has since been found that they protect their shells using a form of aluminum armor, using chemicals in their gut to extract aluminum ions from the seafloor mud while they forage for food. In their role as Détré, VAZ, these amphipods occupy a key role in the ecosystem. They act as a cleanup crew, possessing enzymes that can digest even wood. Research into Mariana Trench is not slowing down anytime soon. The mysteries that lie at the deepest point on the Earth could change the way we see life on this planet forever. Voyages into the deep continue to discover new species. It's likely that many new species await discovery and will help us piece together the puzzle of how animals can survive such extremities. Researching Mariana's microorganisms could lead to vital breakthroughs in medicine and biotechnology and shed light on the story of life's emergence on planet Earth.